Hello, good afternoon, people. Um, we are Lucas and Martin from Open Source Ecology Germany. We are a nonprofit organization for the open source hardware community conducting research, development, and education in the field. And for those of you who missed history in the last years, in 2020, we um, released the first official standard for open source hardware, which is itself open source. That broke a few conventions. That's pretty cool. And the standard explains what needs to be delivered in regards of the technical doc documentation to make something open source. So we all know that it is the technical doc documentation of hardware which forms the source. So what do people need to will you be able to replicate and modify the machine? The standard consists of two parts. The first explains um, enforceable criteria and the second defines a community-based reviewing process. And you can see the process here in the graphic. It's actually pretty easy. You, as the hardware project, submit the technical documentation, then independent reviewers check it, and if all issues are resolved, it gets officially attested. The whole process is coordinated by a so-called conformity assessment body, which also publishes all related information under a free open license. So you could basically fork the whole assessment body anytime. So we didn't stop there. We actually piloted the process with 15 open source hardware projects. And here's my star guest today, who was co-lead of the project alongside with Niels. That's Lucas. Thanks for the introduction. We tried to implement this um, CAP, a conformity assessment body, invited 15 hardware projects um, to join our review process and um, lots of different projects. We had the MNT Reform laptop, check it out, um, open, um, open flexure microscope, mm, that's pretty cool. 3D printable uh, microscope and the um, uh, ELO spinning machine, for example, mm -hmm. which I pronounced wrong the whole time of the program. <laughs> um, lots of interesting uh, projects, just to name a few. Um, the most important learnings we had from this is that um, potential rebuilders um, are the best reviewers, definitely, mm. because they're really interested in making the documentation better mm. and really want to understand the documentation. Um, then we thought that the most valuable thing we add to the project is the label in the end, the Deanspec mm -hmm. um, label. But we didn't. Um, what, what we didn't realize in the beginning is that the projects also get a lot of important feedback out mm -hmm. of this mm -hmm. and improve the documentation. If you work a long, long time on your project and then never anybody else sees it, um, mm -hmm. yeah, it's very valuable to have um, insights from the outside. And of course, for the laptop, for example, it's a very complex project and the best review is to actually rebuild it. That's where we're going to continue from here on. Oh, yeah. Rebuilding um, is the best review and we want to extend our program. So if you're an open source hardware project and interested in review and getting your documentation reviewed or um, rebuilt, we can definitely arrange for this. Please contact us. And the second stage, um, you have to imagine we have all the tools right now. We have the requirements and we have the process to um, open source pretty much any machine there is. So. I think now we can start approaching um, failed um, hardware projects, projects that didn't make it to mass production, mm. projects that failed on the normal market, did not become profitable and not, not sold anymore. Mm. doesn't mean they're bad ideas. Probably some of them are really valuable to our society right now, but mm. nobody's pursuing them anymore. With our tools, we can free them, make them available to the public, and then we will see. Mm. So if you have any idea of a hardware project that failed, but might be a good idea still yeah, for our society, please contact us and hopefully we can uh, free some hardware. That's pretty amazing. If you want to know even more, please reach out to us. We're going to tell you anything you want to know. We have to thank the Postcode Lottery and my dear colleague Niels, of course. Thank you, Niels. Thanks for coming over. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Have a good afternoon. Stay tuned.